right in the middle of the action trying to acquire chips to serve your clients. Tell us how the explosion in mining of all different kinds of coins has made the battle to acquire chips to build out your uh, computing capability that much more competitive in the last several months. Yeah, it's been pretty wild. Uh, before, I'd say 2021, we were able to source supply in pretty much a next day basis where we were able to operate our inventory in just in time fashion. Um, it's changed tr pretty dramatically since right before Chinese New Year. Um, it started with CPUs and it started with, hey, that part that was supposed to be delivered tomorrow is now eight, 12, 16 weeks back ordered. Um, it continued after Chinese New Year. It spilled over into hard drives. Um, it's obviously spilled over into graphics cards. Everyone hears about NVIDIA all the time. Uh, but Ethereum is not the only killer at the moment. Um, it's also with different coins called Chia as well as Filecoin. Let's take a step back a minute, Brian. For those that aren't chip aficionados, aren't crypto in the weeds of it, what exactly is going on? What type of chips are those that are mining cryptos needing? And, and why is there suddenly that need there that, you, that wasn't previously? So it's gone from an environment in 2017, 2018, where it was purely a GPU shortage, to today it's now GPUs as well as all server components across the board. Um, it seems to be a confluence of events between the economics of crypto mining as well as the, the kind of sprint to the cloud that we're seeing from companies that used to be on-premise. Uh, I mean, our, our onboarding pipeline here is full uh, for the next three to six months. Um, we can't deliver to clients fast enough and oh. we're constrained by hardware. Let's take a, a step back just so people can understand your position in the ecosystem. There are lots of companies that do cloud and of course everyone knows about Amazon and uh, uh, Asia and so forth. How does CoreWeave uh, differentiate yourself and what is the type of hardware that you need to acquire to deliver that service to your clients? Yeah, so CoreWeave, uh, we call ourselves a specialized cloud. We're really built for accelerated bursty use cases. So it's everything from visual effects and animation to AI and machine learning model training and serving. Um, so we're not here to host your WordPress blog is kind of our tagline. Uh, we're really <laughs> here for uh, spinning up thousands of GPUs concurrently for spinning up tens of thousands of CPU cores. So our clients really demand scale and we're constantly pushing to, to deliver that for them. Um, and it's gotten a lot harder over the past six months. Brian, there's a lot of hand wringing going on from the administration on the way down. There's been meetings between auto companies, chip makers. Suddenly there seems to be a desire to well, take a step back from a global supply chain and start making chips in Europe and in, in the US. Do you think that's the way to go? Yeah, but that's going to have a longer term impact, right? I mean, it takes more than six months to build a foundry in the United States. Um, yeah. So I think that all these initiatives are going to be great in the long term. But right now, people can't get you the do? components they need to build their businesses. So let's go back to the specific chips and the, the broadening of the shortages. So you mentioned GPU has been competitive for a while. But lately, it's like hard drives, and hard drive prices are soaring, and just sort of like regular storage. What's going on with that? How do, should people understand yeah, what's going on there? It's, uh, so that's one that was a surprise to me. Uh, back in January, we build pretty large uh, software-defined storage clusters on all of our data centers. So we're a pretty big buyer of hard drives. Um, and it, back in January, we started getting some questions from manufacturers saying, hey, what are you using these for? And I'm like, what are you talking about? They're hard drives. Um, and then about a month and a half later, uh, we saw this network called Chia Coin launch, right? And that's really turned the hard drive and solid state drive market on its head. It's driven prices through the roof. Um, and it's supposed to be this quote unquote greener version of proof of work, but um, it's definitely creating a lot of problems for legacy component or classic components in the space. Can you, do you know enough about Chia or Filecoin to say why they need these hard drives, why they need certain types of chips? What is it about the way in which these are being mined that's different from mm. previous? Yeah, sure. So Filecoin um, is actually serving storage, right? So they're actually taking user mm. files and storing them on, on the blockchain. Um, that, that actually has a use, whereas Chia is using the hard drives for what they're calling proof of space time, which is effectively you, you create what's called a plot on a regular CPU. And then when you're done creating the plot, you move it to your hard drive and it sits there dormant or it gets checked every once in a while, and you're supposed to be able to use that to mine for the next several years. Um, it's it's great in, in concept, uh, but it's definitely causing supply chain issues. You know, speaking of these uh, coins, and this is something interesting, you also mine. So uh, when you're not using <laughs> your coins, talk to us about how mining fits into the CoreWeave business model. 
Yeah, so uh, the Corp Weave business model is really built around 24-7, 365 monetization of our compute. So whenever we don't have VFX artists or machine learning or protein simulation companies that are using our GPUs, we immediately fall back to mining Ethereum or Chia coin uh, or any other of the 400 proof of work assets that are available to us. So it's really allowed us wow. to lever into this massive resource base and to be able to meet client needs at a scale uh, that I don't think others in the planet really have outside of the, the kind of big uh, oligopoly type players. Brian, from a revenue stream, stream perspective, at any point has mining been more important to you than actually the nuts and bolts of what you do for your businesses getting them it, on it to cloud? You know, we look at it over the past 24 months and we, we kind of feel bad about our cloud growth numbers because our cloud has grown <laughs> hundreds and hundreds of percent, but uh, our mining revenue has kind of eclipsed that just because of the, the kind of rising tide across all crypto assets. Uh, and, you know, one of the things that people don't really realize is that Ethereum on a daily reward basis is actually larger than Bitcoin. And when you lump in Shia coin and Filecoin, it's it's multiples of what Bitcoin mining rewards are. So the the last 24, 12 to 24 months have been awesome for us to build our platform due to the crypto revenue.